Hello everybody, this is Sean Edlund, or and now that I'm 50, I like to say Sean Monica Edlund, and I am a co-founder of Be The Vessel Now. In, on March the 27th of 2017, a friend of, a friend of mine um, by the name of Sandy Dahl, who I had actually only spoken to once in 20 years, we had just reconnected, were on the phone, and as we were up after about two hours of talking on the phone, all of a sudden I began to just share a thought with her. And then next thing you know, it it's literally like there's an open portal from heaven. And for 45 minutes, God is downloading a vision for the woman's ministry. Be the vessel now. Uh, then, in, uh, so is, is what it is, uh, in a nutshell, it's a woman's ministry that God gave us and he showed us, um, just like in um, Acts 5.42, it says, day after day in the temple courts and from house to house, they never cease to proclaim that Jesus is the Christ, the son of the living God. Now, to me personally, house to house was very significant because um, I had owned a house, clean I owned a house cleaning service um, for a stack of years. And back in 2000, I was in a situation where I was separated from my previous husband. And if anybody wants to know details about that, please seek me. Um, please reach out to me and I'll, I'll be transparent, give you any details you want. Uh, but there was a lot of people in my local body of Christ who had said to me, Sean, you should really think about going to college. And I said, okay, Father, um, you know me, you know you how you created me. So if you want me to go to college, then I need you to speak to me because right now I feel a little confused. And I know, I know you don't confuse me because your word says that God has not given me a spirit of fear, but a peace and a love and a sound mind. So Father, speak to me because whatever you speak to me, you know I'm going to listen to you. So a couple of months later, uh, one morning he wakes me up, it's 542. Another morning he wakes me up, it's 542. The third morning when he woke me up, I looked at the alarm clock. Alarm clock. My brain thought acts and it was 542. And I was like, oh my gosh, Lord, that's so cold to verse. So I ran to my dining room table. I opened my Bible and that's where I read day after day in the temple courts and from house to house. I never cease to proclaim that Jesus is a Christ, the son of the living God. And way back in 2000, I was making 20 bucks an hour cleaning house. And I was, um, which, you know, being a single mom with three kids, making 20 bucks an hour, no college debt. That was pretty good. Um, but nonetheless, uh, he gave me my answer. So that's why Acts 542 is symbolic. So the vision that God gave us for Be the Vessel Now, like downloaded. It wasn't like, oh, how are we going to do this? So literally 45 minutes. I was freaking out with excitement in my home. Sandy was dancing around her home up in uh, SeaTac, Washington. And both of us were just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. So he showed us that he was, um, he was going to provide the homes for us to go into. We would go into these homes women that we would ask to speak we would know their character and we would know that that they were grounded in the in the word right not just not the word but but know their character as far as they love the lord okay um we wouldn't ask these women what they were going to share because we would know that they would be directed by the holy spirit we would step into this environment we would have us like create these mini women home conferences um, so we, we have worship, the women speak, and when they speak, we call it hot off of heaven's press. The reason being is years ago in 19, uh, 1990, oh no, 80s. Oh my gosh, in the 80s. Um, when I was 19, I got my, or 20, when I was 20, 20 years old, I got my first song from the Lord. And so when the Lord would give me songs, I would call my grandma, I'd call my sister, I'd call everybody and I would say, listen to what's hot off of heaven's press. And I would sing him the song that God, that God gave me. So I just kind of kept that with us, hot off of heaven's press. So, and then, so in these environments, the Holy Spirit, uh, the, the inside of these women is like a kindling fire. Okay, the Holy Spirit would set these kindling fires on fire. Then when they left our environment, they'd go back into their local communities, into their workplaces, um, even back into their local churches. The Holy Spirit would bring breathe on these kindling fires and um, then revival would break out across the land and the revival would break out across the nation. Oh, I need my, um, I got to pop up to go get the, our mission statement. Hold on. <clears throat> Uh, 
Okay, so uh, uh, the, the Holy Spirit would create, a, would well, uh, a revival would break right across the land. Okay, so, the, and even, even like with everything that the Lord gave us, so our mission statement is this, how to unzip the chambers of one's inner heart's desires to make them not only a new reality, but a lived out one. What does your vessel look like? Is it made up of cardboard, paper mache, tin foil, rusted cast iron, or perhaps shattered glass? Bringing women into a place of realization that the great I am is still the great I am and longs to make the legacy of their life to be the vessel now. So that's our mission statement. Well, in um, in September, so so it's, it's what we've done is like um, every other month in in 2017 we would do uh, our, our so the Lord downloaded it on March the 27th. By March the 30th of 2017, we had a business license. We established our name um, through the Secretary of State, and then by April the 6th, we had our first meeting down here in Portland, Oregon. Then the next month, we would go up to the Washington neighborhood where Sandy Dolph, the co-founder, is, and then we we played switch back and forth. And then in uh, 2018, we decided to do uh, two events each month um, up there and down here. And, and so we, we've continued to do this. And then last year, um, the year end, it was just, it was just incredible. Incredible. So we have newsletters. Back in October, the Lord had us, uh, or uh, October, he had us, um, he set me up actually. I had woke up um, on in October to do our Be the Vessel Now in Oregon. And for 30 minutes, the Lord had me singing, um, Humble Thyself in the Sight of the Lord. Then after 30 minutes, the Lord says to me, Sean, I want you to go live. And I was like, okay, Lord, you're so not funny. Uh, it was like, I knew he set me up. And so we did. So from there, we, so as each thing has come along that the Lord's given, uh, given us, we've just obeyed him. And so from there, we began to um, ask the women uh, if we could record their messages. And then, uh, and we have them release it, and then we attach them to our newsletter, right? But I got to take you back to September. Uh, and there, there's so many more details and visions that the Lord's given me, but this is like the highlight of where we're going to. So in on September, um, I had just gotten back from South Carolina. And when I got back, I was up in Seattle. We're about to have a Beat the Vessel Now event up there. And we were praying. Well, as Sandy was praying, in the spiritual realm, the Lord shows me something. Now, some people may think, okay, that's really interesting. But a new thought that's come to me is I honestly believe there is a prop committee up in heaven. And he speaks to he speaks to us all differently. To me, he just shows me these flash visions. So I think it's like, okay, down over there at this geolocation on earth, one of my servants, I show her things in the spiritual realm. So the prop committee needs to be available to drop that scene down to where she could see it. Okay, so here's the scene that was given me in September. As we're praying, I see the Father's right hand. Okay, I see his hand and in his hand there's a picture. He takes the picture, goes over to the right hand side of him, dips it down into what looks like a Bible-sized cistern in my mind, right? Dips it down into the cistern. The cistern is full of liquid gold. He then takes the picture, pours it down over earth, and I see ears become gold, like solid gold. And then I hear, he who has ears, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord would say. So, um, and then, by, you know, and then the Lord just keeps building on it, right? Because if we're created in the image of the creator, we're created to be created. Therefore, we have a creative desire to want to create or recreate, right? So God just keeps adding to thoughts. And he even showed me, like in conception, you got the, the female egg and you got the father's seed. If the father's seed does not come to the, to the mother egg, nothing happens. But even in creation, as soon as the mother the father's seed connects with the mother egg in a nanosecond. Combustive, explosive creation begins to take place. Well, that's it. Then the Lord showed me it's the same thing with us. He's the father. Here's our human brain. We're created in his image. As soon as the father's seed connects with the human brain and we receive it 
or we agree with it or we align with it or we um, we partner with it right in a nanosecond our brain begins to take off and so from there God God gave us solid gold visions he gave us a date December the 6th and the 7th to oh I forgot the most important thing Okay, so back on May the 8th of 2018, I went to sit down in my living room. And as I went to sit down in my living room, this is what I heard. I had never heard anything like this before. I heard the reason women, mankind have been filled with the word of God to the degree in which they have is because the Holy Spirit is about to pour out on man, mankind. Women, mankind, are going to become a source of backbone strength, thus encouraging men, mankind, that they're indeed hearing directly from the throne of God. So this event on December the 6th and the 7th, Solid Gold Vision, is not going to be like your traditional we women have been created to be these roaring lionesses. No, we are in a transition. And the transition is in order for men, mankind to rise up, to be these, these you know, in tune, God-fearing, God-directed men on earth as it is in heaven. I am married to one of the most amazing men ever. Steve Edland. Edland is a man who has allowed this, this, this woman who's been on fire for God from the age of 19 until now 50, right? He's allowed me to fully walk out witnessing to anybody anywhere on the streets, right? He's, he's a, you know, it's been hours of hours a day in the word of god uh now god did have to grow when i started pray, you know praying in tongues out loud all the time um he'll any at any moment he, he just receives the fire that's in me and then last year at compassion action um something happened oh my word it is like since compassion action i'm living in the midst of an inferno and i don't know what to do it, it the, the like you know, before I'd pray in tongues like an hour or something, an hour or so a day. Now it's like hours a day and I can't explain it. I, I can't explain. It's like, I, I cannot even begin to explain it. Okay. So all that to say, in order for men, mankind to rise up, women, mankind are going to have to take a curtsy back just to step back a little to say, okay, Lord, have thy known way. I'm going to sing a song. My brain thinks in songs. Have thine own way, O Lord. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter. I am the clay. Mold me and make me. Cleanse me, I pray. Have I known way, Lord? Have I known way? Okay, so I'm going to do six, six, uh, 55 more seconds here if I can get it out fast enough. Solid Gold Visions 2019. My life verse is Jeremiah 29. Were they to ask me to no longer speak in his name? Indeed, I cannot. His word is like a fire shut up in my bones. I am weary of holding it in. Indeed, I cannot. So Solid Gold Visions 2019, December the 6th and the 7th in, the, the great, in, in Portland, Oregon. Where it's going to be at? I don't know. I don't know. So if you feel the Lord like... Father, splash your anointing all over your word, Lord. I ask that you would you would promote your word that you gave to your servant, Lord. You would promote it. You would speak to your people. You would align your people. And whoever you are calling would respond. Respond to the call. Come be a part of Solid Gold Visions 2019. Bless you. Bye.
Oh, back here in my bird cage is my dad's passport. Uh, my dad was the most amazing man ever. He was from the hood in Chicago, Illinois, and he had a dream. He literally had a dream and he saw this woman in a dream and he saw that she had many children. My dad was a black man from Chicago, Illinois, who went uh, through the Navy, came to Bremerton, Washington, met my mom and married my mom with five kids. So I clearly came from a lineage of dreamers and visionaries. And I know the great cloud of witness is blessed. Have a good day, guys. Bye.